On this set of slides, we will review over the urinary models. We will begin with the internal structures of the kidneys, the functional unit being the nephron, and working through those components, going over and looking at the anatomy of the kidney, and then finally a review over the entire kidney and urinary system. The functional unit of the kidneys is the uh, nephron. Now this is called the glomerular capsule or the Bowman's capsule and this entire structure that we're looking at would be a nephron unit. With our glomerular capsule we have more blood that will be entering the glomerulus than is leaving and so we will have a bottleneck occurring. So we have our afferent arterial bringing blood into the glomerulus and our efferent arterial bringing blood out. The afferent will be larger bringing more blood in. The efferent will be smaller bringing less blood out. This creates pressure and causes a separation of the liquid and the solid component of the blood. This allows for filtration of the liquid component, removal of waste, and reabsorption of any needed material by the kidney. From the uh, Bowman's ca capsule or glomerular capsule, we move into the proximal convoluted tubule, and it remains proximal convoluted tubule until we have a thinning. And we'll move over to this so we can see the entire structure. So our proximal convoluted tubule until we have it thinning down. Now this area here is a loop. It's called the loop of Henley from the scientist who discovered it. And we move right across so that down is the loop. We have our descending loop of Henley, our ascending loop of Henley. It begins to widen out and then becomes the distal convoluted tubule until it enters the collecting duct. Now there are more than one nephron system uh, on this model and the best thing to do when studying for a lab practical to get the tubes correctly is to find the glomerular capsule and follow the tube down until you reach the portion you need to label. That way you will not get these backwards. So we have uh, Bowman's capsule, glomerular capsule, proximal convoluted tubule, thins out, descending loop of Henle, going up, ascending loop of Henle, uh, distal convoluted tubule, collecting duct. This is a different model, same structure. We have our glomerular capsule. We have the proximal convoluted tubule. Right here it begins to thin down, so we have our descending loop of Henle, ascending loop of Henle, distal convoluted tubule, collecting duct. The way you can tell where the um, ascending loop of Henle ends it's right across from our descending. So right across there it would be descending, ascending. Now right here it becomes the uh, distal convoluted tubule. Again, always start with your capsule and follow the tubules down so that you get the correct tube labeled. Now the previous slide we were looking at with the nephrons uh, the glomerulus and the nephrons are located in this area right here of the kidney and we'll get back to that in a moment. So as we look at the kidney overview, the first thing is this is in a kidney. We have our renal arteries, our renal veins. This right here on top is a gland, that's the adrenal gland. This right here is the ureter and it goes from the kidney down to the bladder. When we look at the kidney, we have a thin covering over the kidney 
that's called the uh, capsule and that will peel away but the two main regions of the kidney are going to be the cortex and the medulla so we would have our renal cortex and our renal medulla and we would say what division of the kidney is this as far as structures are concerned these structures that look like pyramids are called renal pyramids the tip of the pyramid is called the renal papilla and so we have our nephron system here and those collecting ducts they actually empty into this area these small areas are called the minor calyx here's a minor calyx here's a minor calyx here's a minor calyx they all empty into the major calyx we have a major calyx here, we'd have a major calyx here and here, and then they would all empty into the uh, renal pelvis area, which would then empty into the ureter. So we have the capsule, cortex, medulla, renal pyramid, renal papilla, minor calyx, major calyx, renal pelvis. The area between the pyramids is the renal columns and we would have our pelvic region and our ureter. With the urinary system as a whole notice that we have our spleen, we have our adrenal glands, inferior vena cava, the abdominal aorta, our renal arteries and veins, our kidney, the ureter. The ureter comes down. It enters the bladder. From the bladder to the outside would be the urethra.